Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I am bringing you my Valentine's Day fragrance recommendations. Basically, fragrances for a sexy date, going out for a meal, getting up close and personal with someone, intimate fragrances. Honestly, I feel like I could have included literally half of my fragrance collection in this video. Those types of fragrances are very much my thing and I feel like I'm in a very good position to recommend you some amazing ones. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe, hit the bell, come and follow me over on Instagram and also, I'm on TikTok now. Come and follow me over on TikTok as well. It's just Kate's Beauty Station. I've been having loads of fun over there. If you wanna see more regular fragrance content from me, definitely come and follow me over there. And I am just gonna get straight into this. Okay, we're gonna start off with Zerzhov Accento Overdose. I don't know if this is pronounced Accento or Accento. If you know, please let me know down below. Um, Guys, I discovered this fragrance recently. You know that I am discovering new fragrances all the time and when I tell you, it is really not often that a fragrance leaves me speechless. When I tell you, when I first smelled this, my jaw hit the floor. This is so stunning. It honestly smells like an angel on her wedding day. It's just mesmerizing. It is hypnotic, it is intoxicating, it is everything I want in a fragrance. It has some beautiful like big florals in there, but it's not your typical floral fragrance. It's got a gorgeous jasmine note. It's got rose in here. There's some woodiness. There's some sweetness as well. And it's got this gorgeous sharp freshness to it. It's just so stunning, it is beautiful, it is refined, it is powerful, it's sexy, it's very feminine, but it's so classy. This projects so well, the central is enormous, like everybody will smell you when you're wearing this, but it's still not overpowering, it is just, ugh, guys, it is honestly like, if I could wear a fragrance for the rest of my life, it would be this, I would be happy wearing this, for the rest of my days, to be honest. My bottle is from Twisted Lily. They have renewed my discount code for this year, guys. So you can use my code Kate10 for 10% off your order. They hold some amazing niche brands and they cover all customs charges and everything so you don't have to worry about getting a customs bill through when you order from them. They're amazing. Next up, I have Maison Francis Kirkjean Amorous Femme. This is such a beautiful, romantic, delicate, floral fragrance. It's got some freshness to it. It opens up with a little bit of citrus. It's got some orange and some lemon in there. It's got amorous, it's got iris. It's a little bit musky. It is just so stunning. And I would recommend this for a daytime date. This one went viral on TikTok last year and there was a girl who said that this smelled like Helen of Troy. And honestly, I get it. Like Helen of Troy would totally smell like this. It really is just so beautiful. And when this settles into your skin after a few hours, it kind of just smells like it could be your natural scent and you just smell naturally like you've fallen from heaven. Honestly, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Next we have Commodity Velvet. This is such a gorgeous, seductive, like sweet, jammy, smoky rose fragrance. It opens up with some bitter almond and cloves. It's got like this spiciness to it. There's a lot of woodiness in here. It's got like this dry, dusty sort of feel, but in a very, very sexy way. And it really does remind me of like the feel of velvet, like a dark, reddish pink velvet. It's got vanilla. It's very, very, like I said, it's sexy. I just love this fragrance. And Commodity have just launched their UK website as well, which is amazing. So you guys know I have my discount code with Commodity. It is Kate10, and you can now use it on their US website and their UK website. I'm gonna link all of these down below anyway, as usual, with UK and US links where I can. I forgot to mention as well, this is the Expressive Sense Base, which is the original Velvet. They also have it in their personal scent space, which is more intimate, and they have it 
in their bold scent space. I also absolutely love the bold one. It's very, very like rich and resinous and like more spicy. It's gorgeous as well. I think I slightly prefer this one just because I find it's more wearable, but that one is stunning as well. Next, I have Replica Jazz Club. This is boozy, it's woody, it's warm, it's got this slightly like smoky touch, it's got this very sexy mysterious quality to it, perfectly unisex, I would recommend this both to men and women. Oh, it's gorgeous. The fragrance description is heady cocktails and cigars and honestly that is where this takes me, it smells like tobacco, it's got this hint of sweetness, it's got rum in here, it's just so like smooth and sexy, but also very chic and sophisticated. This has a little bit of creaminess in there and it is just a gorgeous one for a date. Next I have Nishane Tuberosa. You guys know I love me a tuberose scent. I don't know why I just did this. I don't even know what that means. You know how everyone thinks that this, that this emoji is the chef's kiss and it's not. It's like that Italian thing. I think it's rude. I don't know. Um, if you know, let me know. I just went off on a total tangent. Why am I like this? I have Nishane Tuberosa. This smells like gorgeous, fleshy, dewy tuberose petals. It's just so full. It's got some fruity touches. It's got a slight green freshness to it. I would wear this during the day or on an evening. It is just so stunning. I love like the carnal feel of tuberose and jasmine and just those carnal flowers, I love them. It's got a bit of like complexity to it as well, which I really like, but it's still really wearable. And I also have the hair perfume as well to match. I really love a hair perfume. If I can find a hair perfume to match my fragrance, I will always get it because I like spraying fragrance in my hair and obviously spraying a fragrance in your hair is not the best thing for it. So having a hair perfume is always amazing and yeah, this is just such a gorgeous scent. This does have some sweetness to it as well though, not too much. It's got a slight, slight bubblegum feel but it's not like a bubblegummy tuberose if that makes sense. It's more like a fruity, fresh sort of tuberose but definitely has a little bit of a bubblegum feel so yeah I just love this I think it's so pretty okay next we have Delina of course I was gonna mention Delina do you know how much I love this I've got the original I've got Delina exclusive I use the body lotion I use the hair perfume and now oh my god guys you need to see this Parfum de Mali have only gone and pulled it out of the bag and launched little mini Delinas! These are limited edition for the month of February. They are exclusive to Selfridges and they are honestly the cutest and most handy thing ever. I'm honestly sad that these are limited edition. They have the original Delina and Delina La Rose and I just think these are the best thing ever. You guys all know the original Delina. She is this gorgeous, fruity, musky, fresh floral fragrance. There's some lychee and some rhubarb in the opening. Oh, there's rose, there's peony in here. It's got a little bit of sweetness. What I love about this is the fresh muskiness. I just think it is so, so sexy while still being very, very appropriate for during the day. I really love the La Rosée as well. This is sort of like a transparent, watery version, but it still projects really well, like it's still strong. It's, I think, a little bit sweeter than the original Delina, and it's got like this sort of fruity quality. It's very watery though, it's really beautiful. I do think the original Delina is still my favorite. Like out of all of them, she is it for me. I love her so much. Next up I have Hibiscus Mahajad from Maison Crivelli. This is a gorgeous hibiscus tea rose vanilla fragrance. There's some soft leather in here. You really get the fruity aspect of the rose and of the hibiscus as well. 
it's just gorgeous. I love this because it's got quite a lot of contrast. It's really interesting. There's some spiciness in here from some cinnamon. It's very sweet and fruity and very, like I think this would be mass appealing. I've been seeing people online comparing this to Delina and saying that they smell similar. Honestly, I do not see it at all. The only similarity I see is that they both contain rose, and that to me is not enough <laughs> to compare two fragrances. They smell completely different. I mean, usually I would be like, yeah, everyone's nose is different, but they're different fragrances. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've gone off on a complete tangent. This is gorgeous. It's an extra de parfum, and it really, really projects. It lasts forever. It is Oh, like I do think that this is a try before you buy though. I just said it was mass appealing. I do think it's mass appealing but like I said it's got contrast. It's got this sweetness which I think is really mass appealing but then it has this sort of like this spiciness to it. Maybe this is a try before you buy but I do think a lot of people would love this. Okay next up I have Initio Magnetic Blend 7. This contains one note and that note is musk. And this is a fragrance that I like to layer underneath other fragrances. But you can wear this alone. It's got like this gorgeous sort of fruity quality. It's obviously musky. But this, oh, like this is really a pheromonal scent. This is one that you want to pull out of the bag on Valentine's Day to subliminally draw people in. They're not going to know why they're drawn to you, but you know it's because you're wearing your musk fragrance that is having psychoactive effects on them and drawing them in. Like honestly, forget about Khaleesi's milkshake. This is what brings the boys to the yard. Just saying. Also, musk acts as a fixative, so if you layer this underneath your fragrances, it's going to make them last longer multiple benefits. Next we have Nishane 100 Silent Ways. This is a gorgeous, sweet, creamy, floral, vanilla fragrance. It's really like deep and seductive but also perfect for daytime or nighttime. I think this is a perfect entry level niche fragrance. It really doesn't steer too far in the niche direction. It's not like wearing your pheromones. This is just like this is the type of fragrance that your nose will understand if you're not into niche perfumery. It actually reminds me of a few fragrances. It reminds me a little bit of Baccarat. It reminds me a little bit of YSL Black Opium, of Tom Ford Noir de Noir, but this is very, like, it's still very refined and it's just beautiful. It's so beautifully blended. This is sweet though. This is for those of you who really enjoy your sweet, seductive fragrances. Next, I have Mise en Sir Treasure. This is a gorgeous, soft, delicate, like, balmy, creamy vanilla fragrance. It is just stunning. It has some white florals in here, there's some orange blossom, there's some jasmine and it's a little bit musky. This is so perfect for intimate encounters. If you're getting up close and personal with somebody because it sits quite close to your skin and it just, oh, it's got this gorgeous creaminess to it. Honestly, this reminds me of when you've just put your gorgeous like creams on after you've had a lovely bath. It's just soft and beautiful and if you're getting up close and personal with somebody, you don't want something that's gonna overpower them and this is just perfect for that type of situation. I love it so much. Next I have Parfum de Mali Halton. This is the Harrods exclusive and this is gorgeous. When I first saw this online, I assumed that it would be a masculine scent. I don't know why I assumed that, but Honestly, this is completely unisex. It's sweet, smoky, seductive, mysterious, very, very mysterious and dark. It has a citrus touch in the opening, actually, from some bergamot, but it's got oud in here, it's got praline, it really has this, like, little chocolatey, nutty feel, which is gorgeous. This reminds me of Initio Oud for Greatness and a little bit of Oud for Happiness as well. It's just gorgeous. They do share some similar notes. They've both got saffron, they've both got lavender and oud. This is less on the oudy side though. I think this is more wearable. This is not for those of you who want to smell cute and flirty and pretty on a date. This is for those of you who want to smell like a man-eater. You want to turn up and you want heads 
to turn. You want people to know who you are. Like, that is when you're gonna wear this fragrance. This is dark, it's sexy, it's alluring. It is very much a man-eater fragrance, but I would love to smell this on a man as well. I just think it's gorgeous. On a man, I feel like this would have a completely different vibe. Very sexy and alluring still, but on a woman, this is gonna be like your secret weapon. Next I have Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirkshawn. Obviously, I would also recommend Baccarat. I just feel like I mention that fragrance a lot, so I want to give you some alternatives that I would also wear for a date, and Gentle Fluidity Gold is one of my favourites from the brand. This is a new bottle. I worked my way through my entire 200ml bottle. That is how much I love this fragrance. It's a gorgeous, soft, fresh vanilla fragrance. Ugh, it's just so refined and sophisticated though, but still sexy, which I love. There's some sweetness in here. It's a little bit musky. It's got this sort of ethereal, airy quality, which I love. It really does smell like angels. Like, I don't say that about many fragrances, and I've said it about a couple in this video, but this really does remind me of what an angel would smell like. I've said that before. It's just gorgeous, and it's one that, again, if you're not massively into niche perfumery, or you're just getting into niche perfumery, this is a great one to start off with. I think this would be such an easy blind buy as well. Honestly, if you enjoy vanilla, but you want something classy and sexy and refined, this is it, it is just stunning. Next I've got Initio Addictive Vibration. This opens up with a distinct grape note. It's almost like grape juice, but that subsides within a few minutes and it turns in to the most beautiful, intoxicating white floral scent. Ugh, it's just, it's so beautiful. It has a honeyed quality. It's so feminine and intoxicating. If you enjoy fragrances like Alien by Mugler, I think that you would enjoy this. This is very like refined and sophisticated, but also so, like I said, intoxicating and sexy. It's just a gorgeous one to wear for a date if you enjoy like a honeyed floral fragrance. It's beautiful. It's still modern though, which I like. Next, I have Zerjoff Farce. This is definitely one to wear when you really want to make an entrance when you're going on a really bougie date to a really nice restaurant or to a show or something and you want to make an entrance with your fragrance this is it it is a gorgeous deep floral fragrance with a lot of woodiness there's some ambergris i will say it is a very complex fragrance for me when i spray this i do have to leave it for like a few minutes to settle before my nose can really understand it and then i get this gorgeous floral there's some different florals in here but i get this rose feeling from this even though there is no rose listed i do get like this woody rose sort of feeling from this fragrance. It has a lot of depth. It is quite dark, I feel. It almost smells like it's got oud in, but I don't feel like it does. It's dry, it's strong, it's very, very sophisticated, and it's just gorgeous. This is another one that's from Twisted Lily. Again, kit 10 for 10% off their entire website. Uh, go and save yourself some coins because that is such an amazing discount. There are so many brands on there that you just never get a discount on and it just blows my mind that you can use my code on their whole website. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Like I said, I will link all of the fragrances down below for you guys. Come and chat with me in the comments. Let me know what you will be wearing for Valentine's Day. Let me know if you've got any suggestions for me. Again, come and follow me over on TikTok and I will hopefully catch you in my next video, guys. Bye.